Our next step in bot setup is to create the spawning behavior that will allow us to place our bots into the level. So let's jump into Kismet, and here underneath our bot movement section, I'm going to create a brand new sequence. So make sure you have nothing selected. Right click and create a new sequence. And we're going to name this Create Bot. We'll go ahead and jump straight into this and create a new event for when the sequence is activated. And we'll give this an input label of spawn. Now, the next thing we're going to do is actually spawn the bots themselves. So to do this, we're going to add an actor factory. New action, actor, actor factory. Take the out of our spawn and plug this into spawn actor. Now, there are some properties we have to set in the actor factory to make sure that we are spawning an AI bot as opposed to anything else. So over here in the factory property, click the little blue create new object button and you want to choose UT actor factory AI. And there's some properties within this that we need to set as well. So make sure you check give default inventory. Under the inventory list, we're going to click the add new item button. And in the new index zero, add a link gun. And not a rocket launcher. We'll get to that later. Take your pawn class and set that to UT pawn. And that should handle everything we need to actually spawn something. But we need to control where it's being spawned. And we're going to keep track of that so that we can store it into our origin list. So let's start off with our spawn point. We're going to place an external variable. So new variable, external variable that reaches outside the sequence. And we're going to label this origin. Plug this into the spawn point. Now I want to keep track of the object that was just spawned. So right here on our spawned output link, let's right click and create a new object variable. And I'm just going to put an object comment on this. Newly spawned bot. So now we know exactly what that's going to be holding. All right, now as soon as that's spawned, we're going to add it to the object list for our bots. So to do that, we're going to create a new action, object list, and let's go to modify object list. Connect the finished of our actor factory to the add to list. The object reference will connect to our newly spawned bot. We're going to be placing it inside the bots list, so we need a named variable. Let's right click, new variable, named variable, plug that in and set the find var name to bots. Now, as we're doing that, I'd like to also keep track of the number of objects within this list. So let's right click again, create a new named variable, which we'll call total bots, reaching over to the global variable we already established, and go ahead and connect that to the list entries count. Okay, now moving down from here, the next thing we're going to do is add a new modify object list. Because remember, we had three lists. We have our bots, we have our origins, and we have our destinations. So let's right click, come to new action, object list, and go back to modify object list. The out of our first modify object list We'll go to our second, and let's start labeling these as well. So for the first one, let's put an object comment of add to bots list, and I'll capitalize bots. Now, this next one, we're going to connect the existing external variable that's connected to our spawn point link. This is going to wrap all the way around, and this is going to go into the object ref. So this is our spawn point. This is where we're going to add to the origins list. So let's go ahead and put that into an object comment. Add to origins list. Now, with that in place, we need to make sure we have a named variable that points over to our origins list. So let's right click, go to new variable, named variable, set the find var name to origins. Plug that in like so. And we don't need to worry about our list entries count because that number should be the same as the number of bots. Okay, next we're going to create another modify object list. We'll go ahead and plug the output to the add to list. And we'll give this an object comment of add to destinations list. 
Now we're going to create an external variable to plug into the object reference. So let's right click, new variable, external variable, and give this a label of destination. Not destinations, plural, just destination singular. And now we'll create a new named variable which reaches over to the destinations list. Like so, plug that into the object list variable. So now we're storing that destination as well. We're plugging that into our appropriate list. Now, back in the main sequence. So we've got all this set up. If we follow the flow real quick, we're spawning an AI bot. That bot is being put into the bots list. The point at which it was spawned is being added to the origins list. And then we've got an external variable which will be stored as a destination. So if we switch back up to our main sequence, you can see we have our spawn input and our origin destination as well. Let's fire this off using a remote event. Which we are going to name create bot. Plug that in like so. Now we need a named variable that we can use to talk to destination and a named variable that we can use for origin as well. So let's right click, create a new named variable, and I'll just go ahead and immediately make a copy of that so I don't have to do that again. This one will go to the singular destination and the other one to the singular origin. And I'll reverse their positions and plug them into their corresponding inputs. So there we go. We have a system in place that will take in an origin. It will take in a destination. It'll automatically spawn in a bot at the location of the origin. It'll store that bot in our bots list, store the origin in the origins list, and store the destination in the destinations list. The only thing we're going to do now is take this whole thing, and we're going to hit Control-C, Control-V to make a copy of it. Put the copy down below the original. Now we're going to take our remote event and change its name from create bot to create boss. We're actually going to have a boss character that's firing a rocket launcher. So now let's select our create bot, right click, and choose rename selected sequence. Set this to create boss. Step down inside this and come all the way back here to the actor factory within the create boss sequence. And here where we've given it a link gun, we're going to give this guy a rocket launcher instead. So the boss is packing rockets. We better be afraid of him. Now that we've done that, we have our two sequences in place. One creates a bot, one creates a boss. That's all we need to set up so far. So let's go ahead and save our level, and then we'll continue after this.